In this problem, we're told a catcher stops a ball traveling 40 meters per second in a distance of 20 centimeters and feels a force of 600 newtons against his glove. What is the mass of the ball? So in this problem, we're going to be solving for mass. And keep in mind, they give us uh, a force. And so that keys us in. We're going to be using uh, this equation right here. Force equals mass times acceleration, which is Newton's second law. And so if we want to solve for mass, we're going to be needing the force, which they give us, 600 newtons. But we also need the acceleration. So how do we solve for the acceleration in this problem? So what we want to do is basically uh, just write down everything we're given. So let's talk about the things we're given in this problem. So we know we have this ball. It's initially traveling at 40 meters per second. It's going to travel a distance of 20 centimeters, and then it's going to stop. Right? It's going to be stopped by the glove. And so we know the initial velocity is 40. Right? That's the beginning, so v sub 0. We know the distance it travels is 20 centimeters in this interval. And then at the end, it's going to be 0 because it's coming to a stop. Right? The glove stops it. And so what you should notice is we have v, we have v, uh, v sub 0, and we have delta x meaning we can solve for the acceleration by using one of the kinematic equations. So the equation we're going to use is this one right here, v squared equals v sub 0 squared plus 2a times delta x. So we know v is just 0, so 0 squared is still 0, equals v sub 0, which is 40 squared, plus 2 times a, a is what we're solving for, times delta x. And so keep in mind we need it in meters, not centimeters, to, so to convert you just divide by 100, so it's just 0.2, so this is going to be plus 0.4a. Then we can minus 40 squared from both sides. Then you'll get minus 40 squared equals 0.4a divided by 0.4. And so if you do if you do 40 squared and then you divide by 0.4, you're gonna get a equals minus 4,000. And so keep in mind that uh, you want to actually just use the magnitude. You don't want the negative value because it doesn't make sense to have negative mass. So you just want to say this is the magnitude of it, so 4,000. So plug that in. So 600 divided by 4,000. If you go ahead and do that, you're going to get m equals 0.15. So, and keep in mind the units when this is in meters per second squared, and then this is in newtons, your mass is in kilograms. So, mass equals 0.15 kilograms, that's the mass of the ball. And if we look at our answers, we can see b right here is 0.15. So, your answer to this problem is going to be 0.15, and yeah. Hopefully you found this useful.